hey hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to see how we can maintain our work item so till now i mean so far whatever videos i have created i think i have created mostly to create a work item but in this video we will see how we can maintain our work items or how we can create the linking amongst these work items or in uh, or or in more technical terms you can say how we can maintain the traceability like uh, how we can trace anything in the in this devops right with the help of these work items so to maintain this traceability to maintain the linking amongst the work item first of all we need to understand the process ideally which process should we use right or which process we are using okay so i'll switch over my tab to this microsoft uh, they have given i mean at the documentation basically you can see the agile process workflow in the same way you you can see scrum process or kanban process right so there are different processes and it these processes are depend on the project type so in this video i mean obviously my project is of uh, of the type of uh, basically uh, agile and that's the reason i will be using this particular workflow you can say right <coughs> so um so for this process obviously till now we have seen like how we can create or apex feature user stories and tasks but the relationship amongst them right relationship between these these um work items you can say it should be as in parent child like right? like apex should be the most uh, i mean you can say the grandparent of all these work items right and then again the feature is a child of apex but the parent of user story same goes for user story right so user story is a child of feature but the parent of task right so in this format only we need to link our work items for test plan for bugs i mean these are all different uh, you can say workflows but the most important workflow is your uh, portfolio backlog basically like your epic should be connected your feature should be connected with epic as a child user story should be connected to feature as a child task should be connected as a user story to a as a, as a child to a user story now there are two more things test plan test cases bugs mostly we can we can cover these two things here just not cover just just to let you know so bugs and the test cases see bug should be linked to the test case and test case should be linked to a user story or you can link it to a feature level as well it's up to you right so that feature or user story should have a linking between the test cases and test cases should be linked to a bug right so test plan i already covered in one of my videos you can go and check out there so let let's go and don't waste um, much time otherwise the recording will be so long so i'll quickly show you how you can maintain this uh, traceability okay so if i'll go to my <coughs> work items see you can see there are multiple work items okay and amongst these work item there is work item i think there is one work item uh, yeah i think this one so if you take a look to this work item this is an epic right so epic should i mean inside epic we can create a child as a feature right so if you go here and scroll down you'll see one feature added as a child right i will add one new one as well just for your reference i'm showing as it first and inside this feature if you go you will see a user story as a child but epic as a parent right again inside user story if you'll go you will see task as a child but feature as a parent so this is how you can maintain the traceability now how to add this right let's take a look for a new epic so if you go for this epic epic title 2 you will not see any feature to link i mean any feature any user story anything is not linked with this particular work item so how to link you can simply click on add link now there is a two options either you can link an existing work item or a new work item so let's take a new work item here and in the next part or let's take a new epic okay new work item so i'll select feature and i'll add it as a feature 3 
ओके सो फीचर थ्री विल बी अ चाइल्ड ऑफ दिस एपिक सो इफ यू सी आई हैव एडेड फीचर थ्री एज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ एपिक टू नाउ आई गो इन साइड इट एंड अगेन इफ आई वॉन्टेड टू एड यूजर स्टोरीज इन अ फीचर राइट सो आई कैन एड अगेन यूज द सेम सेम बटन यू कैन से और सेम फंक्शनैलिटी लाइक एक्जिस्टिंग और न्यू सो इन दिस दिस टाइम आई यूज एक्जिस्टिंग ओके एंड वॉट आई नीड टू डू इज हेयर आई नीड टू एंटर द आई डी राइट सो यू शुड बी नोइंग द आई डी लाइक विच वर्क आइटम यू वॉन्टेड टू एड लेट सपोज आई वॉन्टेड टू एड यूज स्टोरी टू ओके आई लाइट इट नाउ यूज स्टोरी टू विल बी अ चाइल्ड ऑफ दिस फीचर ना सेव एंड क्लोज Again, let's go inside it. Click on this user story, and again, you can go here. Add link. Let's a new work item. Since this is a user story, let's add a child called task. Right? We can add task. You can search task, or you can create a new task. I think I am creating a new task here. Let's say task five. New task. Just to have it clear. So. this is how you can create or you can add the work items or you can maintain the traceability now what is the benefit of this this traceability z now let's move ahead and let's go to our backlog part okay so if you see here i have select i in the backlog you will see either user stories either epics or or features right so you will see two options here features and then user story why epic is not coming if you wanted epic to be there you need to select it from here i think one minute there is a option basically yeah backlog navigation levels you can select epic also so it's up to you so if now if i'll go there and if i wanted to see epics as well it should be there see so in the best part um, to create the linking or to create to maintain this traceability is to assign the task or assign the um, basically user story or anything to particular sprint or to particular user okay so let's say i wanted to assign this particular user story in sprint 2 right i can add it here like this way and this one in sprint 3 so if you see i am just moving the user stories but by default it is taking the task as well right because this task is linked to a user story if you wanted to complete this user story in the sprint you have to complete the task as well right and there is one more uh, thing like you can have multiple childs of it like let's suppose this epic right for this epic we can see there is one child here as a feature if you want you can create multiple child of it let's say existing work item and i'll add it as a feature let's say two okay so now again now this work item has two childs right so it's up to you how you wanted to maintain this i mean how many users how many work items you wanted to add in a particular work item right so this is how you can maintain traceability and it will help you to assign the task or to see the overall progress of the uh, your project right so let's suppose if you have multiple task here task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 and if i say all tasks are completed then once the tasks are completed user story are also complete if once all user stories are complete feature should also be completed one feature should be complete all the feature should be completed then epic is completed it means a big chunk of task has been done right so this is the reason we need to maintain the traceability in the uh, project basically okay and this traceability could be differ based on the agile process or based on the process you are following so maybe in the kanban you might, you will be following a different process maybe in the scrum you will so see here scrum in the scrum process again it will be different instead of user story you will see product backlogs but the but the way the way which we have done it now it will be same right so 
that's it i think that's it for this current video in the next video i will show you how you can maintain this backlog this traceability and all things thank you thanks a lot